So at the, at the moment, uh, the strategy is work in progress. And part of the strategy is actually that we must not tell you what we are planning. It has, however, been confirmed that the party flag bearer strategy has been approved by the party's second top organ, National Executive Committee. Wednesday's meeting has also marked the once proposed three teams which are expected to carry out countrywide tours with the purpose of holding public rallies. The first team, which was supposed to be led by uh, General Mugisha Muntu, it had Wafla, it had Semuju, Honorable Kanya, Honorable Mugume, Honorable all ETC. Then the second team was supposed to be led by Colonel Dr. Kiza VCJ, it had Honorable Salam Musumba, which team was Amriat, and so on and so forth. And then the third team was supposed to be led by the Honorable Nanda number five, the Secretary General, had Honorable Rigan, Honorable Jack Sabite, and the Chairman. So all these teams now have been integrated in two one. The now agreed upon single team will be led by the party president, Mugisha Montu, and kicks off its tours this weekend in Western Uganda. We start with the rally in Rukunjiri, and in the initial program we intend to have four regional rallies, plus meeting our leaders as we gear up for the nomination, which is next month on 3rd. For some time now, the issue of internal harmony has been a sticky issue within the main opposition party with some senior members vowing to give their support to former Prime Minister Amama Mbabazi. The matter was on the agenda, but the party says it recognizes these divergent views. That's human nature. I cannot guarantee by a statement that every FDC will vote and campaign for the FDC flag bearer. It has also emerged that the party secretary general, Nanda Lamafavi, has been selected to head the Manchester drafting team, which is expected to be a tool for the party in canvassing for votes in the forthcoming polls. We have assigned a 15-member committee to finalize that manifesto, and as soon as it is ready, then we will make it public. The Wednesday meeting, which lasted for more than eight hours, also warned some party members intending to stand on the TDA ticket that they could face a legal challenge.